Hi, we're the mother-daughter grounded good wife duo. I'm Delia, and this is my daughter Eris. In July, our next book will be released by Llewellyn Worldwide. We wanted to take a minute to explain why we called it Dare to Be a Green Witch. So we've heard criticism from people that we're not truly green witches because we don't talk to fairies, we don't practice spells, and we don't do witchcraft. So we wanted to explain what being a green witch means to us. We're green witches who value and consult the earth, trees, plants, and stones for their healing properties, and we're dedicated to an environmentally friendly lifestyle. And for us, it goes a lot deeper than clean living, living which we think of more with like Whole Foods or Panera. But one of our points is that you don't have to talk to fairies or practice spells to be a green witch. And there is no dictionary definition for the term green witch. Also, people might be wondering why we use the word dare in our title. So throughout the book, we talk about the fact that we've been an holistic family for over 32 years. Eris and I don't use any form of allopathic medicine, except five years ago, I had an x-ray done on my ankle because we suspected it was broken. And we just wanted to make sure it was set properly before Eris started my holistic treatments. So the reason for the word dare is because you have to be a very strong and determined person to live the holistic life because you're going to be met with constant criticism and disbelief. An example of that is that our book isn't officially out yet, but we found a review on Goodreads that said the introduction started with dubious claims of healing chronic illnesses with herbal or homeopathic medicine. So I'd like to address that criticism. So in our, inter in our introduction, we say that Eris was diagnosed by a blood test by Quest Diagnostics, ordered by our naturopath, Dr. Liz Herman, and was determined that Eris had the first documented case of West Nile virus in Litchfield County, Connecticut. We saw an infectious disease specialist who said I'd always have West Nile in my body, but we didn't believe that. So my treatment involved a few natural remedies, including castor oil packs. So in a follow-up blood test a few months later, done by Quest, ordered by Dr. Liz Herman, it was determined that Eris was totally virus-free, and if anyone is welcome to contact Dr. Liz Herman about our dubious claim. Claim number two involved my dad. When you live in Connecticut, which is the home of Lyme disease, it seems like everyone has either had Lyme or knows someone who's had Lyme. So Jim, my husband, Eris' father, he had a blood test done through Quest, ordered by Dr. Kathleen Riley, our other naturopath, and Jim tested positive for Lyme. So I started him on an herbal protocol, including Japanese knotweed and eleuthero, and then the blood, blood test six months later, he was totally Lyme free. And one final thing we want to say is that you can be in the deep end of the pool, like Eris and I are, living a totally holistic life, but it's totally fine if you just want to be down in the shallow end, just kind of doggy paddling around and getting a feel for it. And there's room for everyone in the pool. And we invite you all to join our coven and to always stay, stay grounded. grounded.